Boom! There you go. This is why we're here. This is the MedfordKnife.com. from Medford Knife and Tool. This is the GJ1 Slip Joint, or Gentleman Jack. It's an S35VN blade. S35VN backspacer, full length. Which also includes a little bit of a little lanyard uh, hole here. You can attach, to, uh, some guys like to attach beads or put a little something on there to help pull it out of the pocket or just for decorations. This is uh, stone washed and you can tell by looking at this stone wash that a, uh, a smaller medium was used. Um, beautiful finish. Uh, some of the other Medford knives, um, they, the stone wash has a, has a different look to it. So this has a, definitely was a smaller um, medium uh, material was used to get this finish. Some of the excellent uh, parts of the knife besides the S35VN blade and backspacer, obviously we have some titanium scales, titanium uh, pivot screw, and when you look on the back here, you can see it says made in United States of America. Gotta love that. Plunges on the shoulder, both even, perfect. Medford's logo is right here. <clears throat> One of the super cool features of this blade is this nail nick. Now, when you look at other knives, say for instance this case knife, and you look at this nail nick that they have on these older type uh, knives, most of them, uh, no matter what model or brand, they have this little nail nick here to uh, assist in the opening of the blade. In this Medford design, he's using a full length nail nick, which assists here when you get down to the edge because of the way it's cut when it's, once it lets off you can see the cut here stops just prior to the tip and left there's more material here at the end which helps to make the uh, tip a lot more stable and uh, it's a little beefier here at the edge which reinforces it very very cool, very well thought out design. Let's talk about the sounds. One of my favorite things about this knife are some of the sounds. Listen, halfway open, all the way open, amazing. You could look at some older blades, there's no halfway open, it's just all the way. There's no halfway mark. So when you're closing this, it's either closed or it's open. With this design, you get a halfway audible click. And what's incredible about the design and the way this was purposely made was these positions. Look how that doesn't close on your finger. You get my finger in there and it's not closing. No matter, look how slowly that goes back in the battery. Stays open, stays open, halfway, stays open, stays open, all the way. Excellent design. Appreciate the way it goes back in the battery perfectly. Notice the blade is perfectly centered. Fit and finish on this are amazing. When you put this in your hand and you feel this knife, it just I mean, the quality is unreal. You feel it's something substantial in your hand. Cutting positions, even choking up on it, um, are unreal. Out of the box, this thing came razor sharp. I mean, you could shave with it. Phenomenal job. Um, the way they brought down the grind, and then onto the bevel, it's just perfect. Everything about the knife, the tight tolerances,
the materials, well thought out, well intentioned. We'll talk about one other thing that's lacking, but I kind of like the fact that it's lacking is a clip. Some people might want a pocket clip, but then again, if you go look at any of these old models or other brands of uh, slip joints, they didn't have pocket clips. Neither does this one. I like it that way. It keeps it traditional looking. <clears throat> Medford had mentioned that uh, maybe next year they might also come out with a pocket clip for this as an option. Um, this is the only way this knife comes as far as color. Uh, if you go online, medfordknife.com, you could customize this knife to get it exactly the way you want it. But love the sounds. It's beautifully crafted. Uh, super sexy blade. As far as dimensions go, these are the dimensions. It's three and three quarter inches closed, the way you see it. The blade width is three quarter inches. The blade itself is 3.1 inches. And then the overall length is seven inches. So what is a slip joint? And that's what this is. Um, slip joint is a knife, folding knife, folding blade, which has a handle and a knife. And it has no locking mechanism, meaning no permanent lockup, other than the friction from which the mechanical blade locks into place like that. That's it. Locks into position and closes. All right. A gentleman's knife would be classified, which this can also be, this is a gentleman's knife, is a small, simple knife that is made of quality materials and pairs equally well whether you are dressed up maybe in a suit or dressed down in um, western wear or street clothes or whether you're a mechanic or a businessman. It doesn't matter. Either way, uh, this is a perfect looking gentleman's knife Slip joint, gentleman jack, pocket knife. I've been carrying this for a month. Prior to carrying this, I was carrying um, a Medford Slim Midi. Now, Slim Midi is an awesome carry knife. Um, fits perfectly in the pocket, but this is this a locking blade locks into position. This is not. Some people who are old school, some people who uh, who love collecting knives understand and appreciate the quality that goes into making something like this. And for all intents and purposes, this is probably uh, one of my favorite knives out there right now. And I'm not a, a pocket knife or f folder type guy. I'm more of a fixed blade guy. But um, when it comes to pocket knives, or folders, um, I like Medford knives. And I think that these knives are all made in the USA. They have incredibly tight tolerances. Um, made by Americans in a shop in Phoenix, Arizona. I believe that the list price of this gentleman jack is $375. You can go on to medfordknife.com and order yourself one today. You will not be disappointed.